What if we could install Kali Linux on our mobile phone as well as our computer? If I say yes we can install Kali Linux on our device without having to root our mobile device. Kali Linux is widely used for advanced penetration testing and security auditing. If you want to learn more about Kali Linux you can visit my blog, the link is in my description. Before getting started make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and also press the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video. To install Kali Linux, you first need to have Termux installed on your phone. If you don't know what is it click the i button to watch this video now. Let me install it again from the Play Store. Is it quite easy not? Now open it. Now let me install a few packages, so I have to install all of them in one line just like this. Now let me clear the screen and update the whole packages. If you found this error try the update again using fix missing. Now go to this page from any of your browser from your smartphone. Scroll down to see a few commands to install Termux. Now let me run these commands one by one. Now let me install wget using package install wget. If you found this error then you have configured the storage using this command. Allow the storage. If you found again this error then update again using apt get update. Ok now clear the screen. Now again type package install wget. Here you see, it is now started to install. Now paste the second command. This command will help to download the install nethunter termux file from the offensive security web page. Let me check if it was downloaded or not by typing ls. Here you see. Now we have to install it on termux. Let me check if it has executable permission or not. Type ls hyphen l. Here you see it has only read and write permission. Now type schmod plus x followed by the file name. Now again type ls hyphen l. Here you see it have now executable permission. Now run it by dot slash. It will check your device compatibility. You can not install it on the emulator. It just started to download the rootfs file. You can download it from here otherwise you can download the rootfs file from the Chrome browser. Stop the process by typing Ctrl plus C. Copy this link and paste it on your browser. As you see it just started downloading. It takes me 5 hours to download. Now the file is downloaded. Ok, clear the screen. Type ls to check existing files and directories. Remove these two files. Ok, now the downloaded rootfs file is inside the download folder. Now let me copy the file. Type cp in path of the folder and space and type dot here. It is most important. Now as you see the file is here. Now run dot slash install nethunter termux. Here type no. If you type yes, it will again start the download process. It will take time to install rootfs. It will take around 10 minutes. Now nethunter for termux is installed successfully. Ok. Here type nethunter to get into the Kali environment. Here you can perform Kali commands like these. Let me clear the screen. To interact with nethunter GUI, you have to reset kex password. Type kex, it will display you the port ID. Now here need a VNC. So go to nethunter. 
If you did not yet download it just go back to Croton and download it from here. Scroll down you see a VNC tool is here download and install it. Here you have to change the port number. Type here the VNC password. Now click connect. As you see you are in the Night Hunter GUI. Type CAC stops to stop the VNC session. Make your device a server. If you want to access NetHunter GUI from your laptop or any other phone, you need to configure the vnc.conf file. So go to NetHunter. Now open the vnc.conf file using a nanotext editor. Scroll down. Here set the local host to know. Enter Ctrl plus X and save it. Type CAX to start the session. Now open VNC Viewer on your laptop. And here type the IP address of your device. If don't know your IP just type if config. Ok now type IP address followed by port number. If you want to run Kali with root privileges then run it by typing nethunter r. If you want again to connect with VNC again reset the password. And type CAX to start the server. Enter port ID and click connect to connect. Try it from your side. If you have any doubts and queries write me below me in my comment section.